Hello everyone, I'm Sister Heart, and today we're playing Scanner Somber. If you're unfamiliar, this is a LiDAR game, popularized by that 1G mod mod from quite a while back, and now a lot of games are kind of following in footsteps using the same formula to create their own original stories, so that's what we are doing here. Um, I didn't really prep all that much before jumping into the game, so we are just going to start here with our, what I assume to be, our LiDAR. Using a VR headset and then a scanner that maps points of light to the object, kind of like a type of echolocation, if you will, using light to view the area around us. So this is the room we are in, quite large you can see, in a kind of a cavern we have our actual tent here as our only real source of light, and it seems like we need to, well, go this way. So this is our only method of seeing, the static points of light that are being projected onto our headset, which means if there's anything moving out here, and we catch it, we're only going to see where it once was, not where it's currently at. <laughs> That's one of the scariest parts, is scanning something, going back to scan again, and then all the dots being filled in because, well, it's moved. I'm not really sure what the, the plot of the story is, but okay, we can jump. Okay, so we see a tunnel over here. Um, oh, is that a saving icon in the corner? That's not good. What's about to happen to us? Okay, some more just walls. And you can see, as well, the dots we've kind of left in the past here. Here's something off in the distance, almost like, um... Rushing water of some kind, or... Maybe air flowing through the tunnel? Nobody's been as deep as this for thousands of years. Well, that's a comforting thought. I was utterly alone. No call for help would ever reach the surface. Comforting. Comforting thought, really. Knowing them, you were the only one down here, and my friends all told me I was crazy. My wife couldn't understand my obsession. Huh. This is, um, giving me callbacks, but I had to know if the myths were true. Giving me callbacks to, um,. Shit, it was one of the, the earliest kind of unfiction ARG series, um, Something Diver. About the, the, the two guys who went into the cave, kept hearing noises, and then ultimately disappeared. Um, I'll, I'll put it up on screen since I can't recall at the current moment, but it was in my uh, History of Creepypasta video I did on the main channel quite a while back. Oh, this opens up quite a bit. Okay, just water. I thought I heard something for a second there, but it's just, it's just water. So what is the obsession? What exactly is the myth we're talking about here? The myth of something being in here? Of a secret of some kind he feels he needs to uncover? Maybe it's something in his dreams pulling him closer to the abyss, you know? The void is calling to him and he is trying to answer. Fuck am I going? Are we going the right way? I don't feel like we are. We feel like we're going into Oh no we are. Okay. Down. Man is brave walking in here with no real source of light other than a LiDAR scanner. What the hell is that? Did, uh... Um... Did, did we set these up? 
Okay, I can't remember if we said hundred or thousands of years of this place being abandoned. Um, if so, it means whatever, you know, pre-history people that were in here, um, clearly had some kind of structures. Whatever, uh... Who are you? Can I interact with you? Aperture control. Q or E to change aperture. Aperture, sorry. Oh, okay. So thin or... flushed out. Okay, this place have ever... Okay, I didn't read that in time. The resolution was astonishing. Never before had such a powerful geological scanner been available. These are really old structures here. Definitely collapsed. Some kind of, uh... almost feels like a, a temple of some kind, or... Something, um, sacred at the very least. How is this old-ass bridge holding us? It really is as old as he says. I kind of want to know the, um... Like, how exactly do you do you code for, uh... A game like this? Okay, it says moving, sorry. I heard fabric moving, and I was like, want to make sure that it was us making the noise and not... You know... Something else. Okay, more of these pillars here. Flushed out image of what they are exactly. Alright, so we, uh. Definitely lean more towards this as a sacred site of some kind, either that or, um. Less a sacred site and more of a forbidden site. Someplace we should not be going. What is that noise in the distance exactly? Maybe even the remnants of a long-lost civilization of some kind. I'm sorry? Um... Is this a statue? I think it's a statue of some kind. Um, I almost can kind of see an outline of what it should be. I don't know. Got particles floating around it though, which is a bit strange. We got some pillars kind of, you know, surrounding it, so clearly it's a kind of um Well it's something. Why is our Glitching out pretty heavily, just staring at it. Okay, our scanner does not like whatever this is. That's our cue to um. I'm seeing the um. The problem here. You're not gonna follow me, are you? You're, you're gonna stay there, right? You're not gonna follow me into this dark cave. Yeah, you're 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 gonna stay there. Um. No, just just making sure that he's you know still still there. Wide open cavernous space. Just want to make sure we get all the details here, and that asshole is still over there, and not you know over here. Over here, dead end. Um, yeah, that asshole is still there. Just cover him up real quick. Wait, is there something on the wall? 
I can't tell if that's a texture, just, just the, the wall itself, or if that's supposed to be some kind of carving. That probably means nothing. It's probably nothing. Sure. Impending doom. Curiosity. Killed the cat, but, uh... Satisfaction did, in fact... Bring it back. Yo, even though we're so far deep into the cave, it's still following our movements. As if it, too, can see through the walls. At everything we're doing. What is this? Oh, one of the pillars that fell. Oh, yeah, they're kind of collapse. Whatever was in here definitely was a long, long while ago and has long since collapsed in with different parts of the cave. We still haven't gotten a straight answer on what exactly is in here. Like, what myths? What legends is he referring to? Is this just referring to whatever civilization could be here? Is it reference to um, a sacred site of something deep within the cave itself? What exactly? What are we... What are we obsessed about here? Now we're walking up actual steps to another kind of maybe altar or a landing area. Whoa. Wait, this is way more of a structure, it looks like. RB to zoom. Or Z. Either or. Okay, so we have a... a whoa. Quite a few bridges. Holy shit. <laughs> that goes down deep. Holy fuck. Is there even a bottom that I'm scanning? Um. Shit. Uh. Maybe we have to maybe hop down to this one? Ooh, I didn't like that sound at all. Hey, that goes down to literally nothing. That's terrifying. Okay. Wow. A lot of structures here. What the fuck? Why have this so deep in this cave? Like, what, what was the point? Clearly, if it's this intertwined, it has to be some kind of, like, forgotten society, right? Something along those lines, you would think. And some major cosmic core vibes here. Something completely otherworldly, completely unnatural. Um, can I jump over there? Nope. Ooh, that was also a really bad sound. down over here, onto this lower platform. Okay, that ain't good. Mm. Um. So I don't think it liked that we did that. I don't think it liked that at all. I don't know what it is, but um, it made me pee myself a little bit. They never did iron out all the glitches. Yeah, pal. Yeah, that's um, that's a glitch. Sometimes you'd see sensor echoes from days earlier. Calibrations turned to ghosts. That's, that's what happened. That's what happened. But even so, I never could explain everything I saw. Gee. I wonder why. Well, we're talking from the past tense, so clearly we make it out of this, right? We're not... We're not trapped down here. Or anything like that. We live to tell our tale, right? Right? So we're gonna answer, ask the question, where the fuck am I? Where are we? What are we doing here? Why Why do we feel the need to do this? What, uh, what on earth possessed us to say, hey, 
Let's strap on some funky gear and uh, dive into an unexplored cave with some pretty fucked up shit inside. Ooh, pretty narrow. How, how neat. How is that? Is that more of our equipment? Yeah, that's um, pretty deep down. Seems mildly dangerous if you ask me. How do you propose I do that? You're not trying to say I need to jump, right? Because that will kill me. I will not make that jump. You can't break those cuffs. I don't think that goes anywhere. Can I go this way? Wait, can I go this way? Fuck. Can I actually? Um... Um. I don't know. Oh. Um, I'm seeing multiple people fall to their um death. From where, though, I, I don't know. It makes it seem like someplace higher up. It's still acting buggy, making strange noises, which makes me a little bit uncomfortable. Okay. Um. Big ass cave system. Um, is that the outline of a person? I think that might just be someone falling. Are those, are those people falling or, or are they something else? Because there's, there's beginning to be quite a few of them at this point. Okay. Um, don't know how to feel about that. Or what to think of that, really. So we're just going to opt to ignore it all. deep and rumbly. You can hear the, the scanner beeping at least. Okay. We got burst scan. Oh! pretty neat. So that's a way of quickly uh, scanning a room, I guess. So anytime we're in a big open space, just burst scan and immediately bear witness to whatever horrors um, lie inside. Huh. Well, this doesn't seem good. Now we're down here. What what's the plan? Where are we going next, pal? I assume these are all your scanners that you're leaving behind for some reason? Or someone else? Or or what? Like what what what's the game plan here? What were you what were you thinking? What are you hoping to, to see? What are you hoping to be greeted by in this subterranean hellscape? Because if we've learned anything from cave crawlers, it's that bad things always happen in, in caves. I mean, just, just think of the movie the, the Descent. That didn't turn out well for anyone. Everyone fucking died. Oh boy, more um, slides down into the deep. What could go wrong? Yep. 
Nope, we're uh, we're 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 down here, down here. We ain't getting back. Whatever uh, horrors lie down here, um, we will not be able to escape. We're just we're just here. Okay, this seems like the type of place for a burst scan. That is deep, deep. Where the frick do we go now? Over here, it seems. This seems like artificial kind of... Yep, these are stairways. These are not natural formations. What is this below us? Another... Man-made or whatever the hell lives down here pathway. But uh, what's the deal with all the people getting tossed off the side? Is this like some kind of ritual sacrifice to some ungodly terror residing deep within this cave? Some horrid monstrosity beyond human comprehension? Can I jump over here? Whoop. I guess so. The deeper we go in, the more questions I have. We're also losing more and more signs of that civilization, whatever it is, or whatever it was. I mean, we have some artificial pathways, but the bridges, the archways, the pillars, the complex ornate stairs, whatever they were, platforms, altars, have, have kind of vanished. Uh. Ooh. They're in a wide complex now. Well. Here's all these pillars that I said I don't know where they're at. So this is probably collapsed in, yeah. Yeah, that's a whole archway as well. So I take back what I said about um, losing connection with whatever civilization was down here because clearly it is staring right in front of us. Why so deep underground though? What the fuck? Why so deep underground though? The temple must have been over a thousand years old. God damn. A temple serving what purpose? And a temple to what? I knew they existed that searched for the cultists all my life. So it's a cult. A really, really old fucking cult. How... How charming. But to finally see it in person, to be the first. Well, you're not really seeing it, you're seeing LiDAR scans of it. But that's a good, you know, a good effort. roots of a giant tree. I don't like that noise at all. Why is the music kicking in, man? These cultists, um, however old they were, uh, Sure, knew a thing or two about interior design. Okay, worshipping what? I don't know. What defines a cult? Huh? Who's to say what a cult is or is not? Uh. I'm starting to get the impression of what the, uh, the cult was worshipping. And it involves a man with either antlers or tree branches growing out of its head. Um, worshipping some kind of eldritch entity uh, far older than than man itself. But why have a cave, this, why have a shrine, a church, a temple this, this deep, this deep in a cave? Who are you hiding from? Because we have no idea where this uh, story takes place, so who knows who or what they were, where they're at, what they're hiding from. Oh, another one. How quirky. Oh, multiple of them. How quaint. 
Oh, one fell. This is unfortunate. So I get to reach to grab me. Hmm, those glitches are seeming all the more sinister. Get it. So are these roots or antlers of some Aldrich monstrosity? I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure wherever we're going, whatever we're doing, it's fine. Hmm. Yeah, this can only end badly for us. This is where they perform the sacrifices. Okay, so we were watching sacrifices. How neat. How cool. The more I scanned around the altar, the more it revealed. Oh, wow. Um. Ooh, I don't like that sound at all. Wow. Okay, so this is a massive altar space with... What I don't know. Why the lighter refuses to scan certain parts, I still don't know. If it's not... If it's... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why it refuses. Well, they had ritual sacrifices. Um, to be expected. From what we've seen. There's the, uh, the echoes of people falling. Ladders going up. Or a stairway going up. What the fuck was that? Why is it glitching? Um... Uh, Alright. Oh! So we can see everything we've scanned. So we have a full 3D map of the entire the entire facility. It's crazy. Oh. I wonder how many poor bastards they tossed over the edge. Well, buddy, let's make sure we're not one of them. Question still remains, um, what exactly were these cultists worshipping, sacrificing to? Because we're seeing some depictions here, but we don't exactly know what it is, besides a man with antlers. Some kind of ungodly cosmic being, beyond our wildest imaginations. The cultists believed the cave itself was malevolent, that the dead could never escape. So, they are forcing souls to remain here, in this, in this living cave? Their victims were doomed to live their final tortured hours forever. Ooh. Is that what we're doing? Reliving our final tortured hours? Or do we keep finding scanners everywhere? No wonder people went mad down here. I think we're in the prison. Yeah, there's another prison cell. You know, the music's really starting to kick in. And it's making me just a little bit uncomfortable. Not gonna lie. Um... I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Do I go this way? Probably. Fuck me. That's just that's just me. That's just me. It's, it's nothing else. Dumbass. Scaring yourself. Got a, kind of a complete picture of another cell here. More sigils hanging from uh, the rafters. The Cave ceiling, that's what that's called. So we're in this very clearly long, long since abandoned um, cultist compound, at least. Hopefully long since abandoned. 
why they came to believe the why they came to believe the cave was malevolent, I don't know. The altar down below. Sacrificial altar where uh, people are, you know, sacrificed and shit. Or being tossed into the cave itself. Wild to think about. It's probably nothing. Is that noise? So now we're heading to like the primary monastery where the cultists actually resided. Wait, I'm going, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going backwards. I got turned around. Navigate. Very narrow. Not very ADA compliant, if you ask me. That's all collapsed. That's that's very cool. Cultist slept in eight years. Like the monks who came after, they spent their time in silent prayer to an, an, an unanswering god. Huh. Oh wow, there are full ass beds here. Every time I do the burst scan, I'm terrified of something very quickly being uncovered, um, rather than slowly and gradually. Scanned over here. Huh. It's a very large root. It's maybe a very large tree. Can I go over here? No. Okay, so that area is blocked. That table does not want to be scanned for some reason. It's strange. I wonder if if the cult just slowly died out over time. If they all kind of died at once. If something forced them to leave. Or if the cave claimed its own followers as, as victims. Who's to say? And what exactly this entity is or what it's supposed to res represent. I don't know. Some kind of horned serpent, horned entity of some kind, a horned god, if you will, with roots for horns, I guess you could say. Now it seems like we are leaving the monastery behind as if leaving the uh, final little bits of the, uh, the cult behind. Now just venturing into the actual cave itself. Maybe. We'll see. I can hear the uh the rain of the water dripping from the stalactite. Wow, this is a very large space. It's water? Yeah, it's water. I would probably advise that we don't go into the water. That might be bad for us in our quality of life in this very damp cave. We're like in an underwater lake of some kind. Though this does seem to thin out quite a bit. Okay, there we go. Oh, this is also water. Um, hmm, this might hamper our quality of life. Hopefully it's not that deep. Okay, um, it is somewhat deep, unfortunately. 
I don't think we have a choice, though. I think we have to go this way. We're fine. We're good. We're fine. We're fine. Ooh. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're good. A little bit of water never hurt anyone. Whatever the hell made that noise might. What's making that noise? Why, why is I gonna make that noise, man? Well, what do you gain out of doing that to me? Huh? The knowledge that I'm in fear, cowering for my life. What is that? Is that a cage? That looks like a cage. That is 100% a cage. Like maybe they stuck someone in there and then they just kind of drowned. Hard to say. That sure seems like what it is. The witch tri trials came much, much later. They used to drag witches down here and purge them in huge numbers, evil throughout the ages. Oh, so is that what these are? Where they purge the wishes, witches? There's no doubt they believed in the myths. It was no accident they chose this cave. That would make sense. So we have a history of a cult, and then a history of... They wanted to imprison the evil down here as eternal punishment then even deeper into the cave somehow, punishing witches? Which makes me think that this was a monastery sometime after, I'm not sure. But if they came all the way this deep in the cave just for that, makes me think that... You know. Clearly the locals at least knew about it. No matter what, uh, what it was, presented. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, that may be, um. Pee a little bit more. Okay, um. That was a terrifying sound that I never want to experience again. Um, so let's leave. Let's, let's, let's leave. Let's turn around. Let's, let's just never come back here. I'm not sure why we did this to begin with. I did wonder if it was true, of course. No way these were just glitches. Don't say that, dude. Don't say that. That much death occurring in such a confined space. What horrors must they have seen in their final moments? Probably a lot of terrible, terrible things. Um, that's a way over there. How do I? How do I get there? Surely I can make me wade through the water, right? That would just be crazy. A lot of cages for um, supposed witches too. That's quite. A terrifying thought. Wow. I wonder how many. How many cages are in here? Jesus, a lot. Fuck. That has a pathway. This is not a pathway. Terrifying to think of just being 
being accused of being something you aren't. Simply as a tool for control and sowing discourse and fear. And you are the person to suffer for it. Strung up in these this deep, deep cavern far away from the sunlight. Just wasting away until you die. I'm looking back, not like we're able to see it anyway. Very, uh, watery. What is this? Resolution's been increased. Very nice. That is much better. So now I can see the whatever horrors lie within in high detail. These have to be artificial archways, right? Created by the cult and reused by whatever entity decided the, uh, the witch hunters. Sure, I'm gonna like what we find in here. Water. You're thirsty. Take a sip now. There's a whole ass boat right here. What do I do with this? Oh, I'm rowing it, dude. I'm rowing my boat in a cave. How neat. This has gotta be an old fucking boat. Surely nothing untoward will happen to me in this boat, right? It's just a nice, re relaxing little boat ride where nothing could possibly go wrong. I really hope nothing goes wrong. Oh, How pretty. of beauty in this dark, dark world. opens up once again. Very pretty. Very soothing and relaxing. Compared to everything else we've just experienced.
What a strange little moment of beauty in this otherwise rather unnerving game. The last bit of respite before uh last bit of respite before whatever we're ultimately about to face. If these echoes in my ear are good indication for what's about to happen next. Um, is this it? Does this go anywhere? Okay, maybe we've overstayed our welcome. Um. Uh, hello? I can't tell what I'm looking at. Someone. Pickaxe? Oh, it became a coal mine. That explains how uh, they got the <laughs> the witches down here. They didn't go through the other entrance. They went through um, the miners that came for work. They were just as superstitious. They were terrified of this place. Went through some other cave entrance. One more likely about to, to go through to get out of here. All those that lost their lives to negligence, are they trapped down here too? Terrifying thought. We were given a material scanner. I wonder what it will uncover. I guess that lets us know what's artificial and what isn't. Look at this. All this wood. seeing flashes of all the miners that were down here. Well, it helps us see all the old all the old pathways at least. The collapsed bridges and shit like that. Can we jump over here? What? I suppose so. Because now we have more ramps and all kinds of shit. There's a caved in mine. A lot of people probably died because of that. Oh, that's a safety hazard. Let me get that fixed. Whoa. Oh. These almost seem like statues of some kind. There's a bridge. How do we get to that bridge, though? Well, there's a giant fucking hole in it, so it won't do us that much good anyway. Does it matter that all of this is in my memory? Um, maybe? Does it make it any less real? No? Yes? No? I was there. I was the first. All right. Seems like it's a really big deal for you. For some reason. This ain't good. Ooh, this really ain't good. This really ain't good. 
The fact that held up is a miracle. Like, that is miraculous, that held up. So we're in a museum now. Like, this feels like we're in a museum now. I don't know if it's a still used museum, but it seems like we're just walking through a museum now. Yeah, we're just in a history museum at this point. We're, uh, like partial museum, partial like cave tour type thing. So this is all a lot more modern. I can't really say that you're the first on this portion because this is clearly like a guided tour type thing. I remember coming down like it was yesterday. Hoping I'd find something below, hoping it wouldn't be another empty cave. I just wish I'd been better prepared. Can I go in there? No? Okay. So there is an elevator out, but it looks like we are... It's all closed at the moment, so... The odds of getting out are, you know, relatively slim that way. Yeah, it's in the save button, so we're on the right path. Is that another locked way out? Or are you a generator of some kind? There we go. Oh, there we go. We got that open, so... that generator, or pop on that generator too, um, wherever the fuck it's at, okay, who the fuck decided to put a fucking maze in here, alright, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta turn the uh, elevator on, but you gotta flip up a couple switches, and I wanna be fucking hilarious prank if we, uh, put it behind a maze, can I just jump down? I can just jump down. Bam. Easy as pie. And here's the elevator, maybe. Up we go. Ascending from this creepy ass cave. Unless the, you know, the elevator breaks and we plummet to our death. Was, uh, quite the dramatic music for going up in an elevator. How many times do I have to relive this? So we did die. Gotcha. We're just reliving the same few hours over and over again. Always the same rock, the same metal, the same stale air. And the guilt. The guilt of what? Are we outside? I don't know how I died. How did he die? Of all the memories I'm forced to relive, this is the one thing I don't remember. What, coming down here? But it breaks my heart knowing I left my family behind.
They are always here for me. They know I'm never coming back. So as I suspected early on, we, we did die. We are just reliving our memories. Of uncovering this cult. Of the witch trials of making our way into the uh, the mine museum before we're inevitably pulled back into the uh, the cave itself doomed to relive the same few hours over and over and over again with no end in sight He uses our own LiDAR map for the uh, final little segment. What we scanned as well as what we didn't. There we are. Held captive by this malignant cave. A living, malevolent force of some kind. That is a good question. When exactly did we die? How exactly did we die? Maybe that's how we plummeted off the side. Maybe the elevator collapsed on our way out. Maybe it was something else entirely. Maybe that last bridge really did just collapse under our feet. Regardless, we will always end up back in this tent. Doomed to repeat it all over again. The dots moving now. Um, So that was Scanner Somber, a strangely poignant game and 
truly lives up to its name with a very somber ending. I saw the game on Steam, saw that it was a LiDAR style game, and I always wanted to really try it one, so I thought I'd give it a shot. Um, I enjoyed it. It had a nice, creepy atmosphere. Um, elements of cosmic um, horror ingrained with supernatural elements all the way through, kind of keeping you guessing as you go about the, the fate of the main character, about the uh, the ruins we've encountered, the well, the cages for the witches, everything. And strange moments of beauty tied in as well, such as the, uh, the cave section with the glowing fungus above us and the small sections with the lake the rain coming down from the stalactite it was all quite nice if lighter games are up your alley or you'd like something kind of spooky and atmospheric to play then i would definitely recommend scanner somber it is currently available on steam um, i would recommend giving it a shot otherwise i've been sister hearts thank you all for watching